Today I'm showing you everything you need to know about using Primordial Client on Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So we can start off by injecting the client. I'm using Fate Client Injector for this and we'll link it down in the description below. Also linked down in the description is going to be Primordial Client itself. Here inside of Minecraft, you'll already see a few things on your screen. Anyways, let's get right in. So to open up this main menu, you want to press on the insert button on your keyboard. If you don't have an insert button or you want to change that, then open up the chat and type in dot bind, click GUI, and then any key you want. For example, F. This is going to bind the click GUI to F, meaning I can now press on F to open and close this. I'll get back to these commands we use later in this video. Anyways, here in this main area, um, we have a bunch of modules that Primordial Client offers. As you can see, there's a combat section, a movement section, a player section, visuals, a world section, which doesn't contain anything just yet, as well as a miscellaneous section. For all of these, they all work the exact same. We can click on them just like this to turn them on and click on them once again to turn them off. We can right click on all of these and that'll open up a customization menu. Um, we can use all of these customization menus are unique, as you can see, and this allows you to apply a bunch of customizations. Um, for these customizations, you can click on them, which you saw me just do, and that'll cycle to the next one automatically. Or you can right click on these and then you'll get a list of the available options. For the rest, these customizations should be pretty self-explanatory. One important thing all the customization menus have is the option to set a keybind. You can do that by pressing in this area and then pressing any key you want on your keyboard. Anyways, you'll also notice this save button right up here. If you press this, it is going to save your configuration. Basically, your configuration um, is everything that you have set. So for example, now this keybind will be saved. Um, if I turned on reach, then reach will be saved as on. Maybe if you set other customizations, those will be saved as well. They will be saved to your config. Um, I made a full video on configs that I will link in the description if you guys want to check that out. Anyways, here under the client area, we have a few more things as well. There is a main section, which doesn't contain anything just yet, as well as a HUD section. Your HUD or your heads up display is basically everything on your screen over here. Um, this currently includes the watermark, the array list which displays all active utilities, as well as the notifications you must have seen appearing on my screen right over there. Anyways, you can turn all of these off as well as enter into their customization menus and uh, customize those if you'd like, as you can see, if I turn these all off, my screen is going to be completely clean, except of course, we can still use Primordial in the exact same way. Anyways, I'll just turn these back on for now. For the rest, I highly recommend you guys take your time to look around all the options that this client has. It's quite a lot and they all work incredibly well. Some of the most common ones that people use are in this combat section over here, the kill aura. In the movement section, you obviously have fly, speed, and velocity too. In the player area, you have no fall, which is often used together with the fly to prevent fall damage. In the visuals area, you have ESP as well as X-Ray, which is an important one. Together with X-Ray, you would also usually use the Fulbright module. The things I'd say the client is missing is the fact that it doesn't have a search option up here somewhere, and it also doesn't have scaffold, sadly. Anyways, now to the commands, so I just used some earlier, they're typed in chat not with the default slash, but with the dot. Uh, we can just type dot help in chat and that is going to print out a list of all the commands that Primordial Client offers. As you can see, there is quite a few. Um, here's all the commands as well as exactly what these commands can do for you. If you're unsure how to use one of these commands, then you can type dot help and then that command, so bind. And then as you can see, it is going to tell you the command, um, tell you exactly what it does as well as how to use it. It'll also give aliases, in this case it is B. Um, what this means is that instead of dot bind click GUI, you can also just type dot B click GUI. 
Finally, an incredibly cool command that this client has is the unlock achievement one. I made an entire video on this and this command is just incredibly powerful. Anyways, uh, for right now, basically, uh, that was that. Uh, if you have any questions, of course, about how Primordial works, then do feel free to leave those down in the comments below. But for right now, thank you ever so much for watching, and I do, of course, hope to see you all again in the next one. Bye-bye.